Fuller's Meat Market. Hiya, Harriet. Well, who else would be calling me at this hour, sweetie? Past eight? Wow. Yeah, I just finished the books. Well, after taxes and paying the bills and the rent, we'll have enough left over to remodel your old winter coat and dry clean mine. <laughs> no, not quite that bad, but almost. Okay, I'm closing now. I'll see you soon. Send the police. Right. You see it, Joe? Yeah. Who do I call? The operator? I want to report an accident at Maine and Linden. Need the police and an ambulance. Gee, thanks, you know. All of a sudden... Yeah. Boy, that, that really shook me. A thing like that can give anybody the shakes. You know, that's the first time I ever saw a man... I hollered to him, but he didn't seem to hear. That driver looked like he hit the old man on purpose. I got a good look at him. Well, you're still kind of pale. Sit down a minute. You don't need us out there. That license plate. It began with A-R and had four numbers. Six, three... Nice place you got. Huh? Oh, yeah. Six, three... Four. Four. That's it. A-R. Six, three, four. Business must be kind of slow around here. Oh, it's not bad. I got my regular customers. The important thing is I'm my own boss. Nice looking family. Yours? Or... I don't think I can remember that last number. Oh, they can trace the car with what you got. Let's see. Hey, what are you... trouble. You and your nice family. Oh, there he is, officer. He saw it. Did you catch what kind of car, mister? The license plate? Well, it was um, a, a black sedan. Four door. I didn't see the make. What else? It was too dark to see. I thought you said, Joe, that... I did, Doc. I saw the whole thing, but the guy sped away. Give me your name and address. Joe Kohler. 128 Fulton Street. Come on down to the drugstore, Joe. I'll give you a sedative. Thanks, Doc. I'm going home. 
Good boy, Joe. Let me take you. You're in no condition. Let me alone. I'm all right, and I'm going to walk. I'd like to meet your family. Why don't you get out of here? I did what you wanted. Let's go in, Joe. I'm not afraid of you. You get in that car. Twice is all I ever ask anybody. John B. Smith. How do you do? I've been trying to sell your husband some insurance, Mrs. Kohler. Oh, well, uh, I'm afraid we can't afford any more right now. <laughs> That's what everybody says, <laughs> until they need it. We have a very reasonable family plan. What's your name, son? Jimmy. You go to high school? No, sir. Junior high. Merriweather. Oh, yeah, I know it. I'm third. That's right. My name's Betty. I go to Jackson Street Grade School. Thanks for showing me your house, Mr. Kohler. I think the estate plan would be your best bet. A nice meeting you. Nice to meet you. Good night. Good night. Well, for a salesman, he wasn't very insistent, was he? Want something to eat? Uh, I tried to keep him out of the house. No, I ate. Well, come on, honey. You sit down with the paper. I'll put these socks away. Oh, there's coffee on the stove, Joe. Thanks, I'll get some in a minute. Betty, won't you get Dad some coffee? You get it. The sheriff has the roughest corner. He'll catch them. It ends that way all the time. They always catch the outlaws. Good night, Bob. Good night. Good night, honey. Come on, sweetie. Well, now, I wonder who that can be. Good evening, Mr. Kohler in, please. Yes? Lieutenant Folsom, Police Department. Oh. Well, come on in. Thank you. Right in here. What's the trouble, Lieutenant? You were a witness to the uh, hit and run at Maine and Linden. That's right. Will you sit down? Thank you. Honey, when did this happen? Oh, just before I came home. I didn't want to say anything in front of the children. You know how they ask questions. <laughs> hey, that's my record. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Excuse me. Stop children. It. Well, you're our only eyewitness, Mr. Colin. I hope you can remember more than the color and type of car. Uh, that, uh, that street wasn't very well lit, Lieutenant. Uh, what about the makeup car? Did you see the hubcaps? No, just the rear. Or would you say it was a late model car? Yes, sir. With the headlights on? Sure. Mr. Kohler, I know you were in a state of shock, but please try to remember. When the headlights are on in a late model car, the rear license recognition lights are on, too. Now, you must have had a quick look at that license plate. Lieutenant... That car sped away awful fast. According to the skid marks, he nearly went up on the sidewalk. Yeah, he almost got me. Well, if he was that close, you should have seen the front, too. You act like I'm not trying to tell you the truth. A man was killed, Mr. Kohler. Of course, if you're afraid to speak I up. told you what I saw. How many times do I have to repeat okay, my... Okay, okay, I'm sorry. Sometimes people are afraid to get involved as witnesses. It means losing a day's work to appear in court. I can see you're not one of those. Um... Who was the old man, do you know? Martin Littlefield. Name mean anything to you? No. 
He's the chairman of the Belton City Citizens Crime Committee, the one that's been fighting Boss Monday. Monday? Isn't he mixed up with gambling or something? He's the number one. He's been operating outside the city limits, county territory. Littlefield's been trying to get the governor to send in a special prosecutor to clean him out. Well, I'm sorry you can't help us, Mr. Kohler. This case means a lot to us. Littlefield might have been murdered. If I'd only come out of my shop just a little earlier. Oh, if you happen to remember anything else. Give me a ring, will you? Yes, I certainly will. Good night. Good night. Honey, can't you sleep? I guess talking about the accident made me see it all over again. Must have been horrible. Maybe some hot milk will help. After 11, what are you reading? I'm reading a pamphlet on vocational high. Yeah. I'm trying to make up my mind whether to go to regular high or vocational high and learn a trade. What do you want to do? Golly, Dad, I don't know. I'm only 13. How should I know what I want to be when I'm 21? That's right. Why don't you think about regular high? In that way, you'll have four more years to make up your mind. Take your time, son. Don't let anyone force you to do anything. Ever. Not even me. Good night, son. Thanks, Dad. Good night. $4.25. You want me to send you a bill? Mr. Kohler, you haven't dealt with the Clover Club before. I assure you that our credit is good, however. Oh, uh, it's not that I'm worried, except that I have to pay the wholesaler. Oh, I understand perfectly. And if your meat tastes as good as it looks, why, we'll be back tomorrow for another order. Just mark it paid and uh, sign it, please. I certainly appreciate your business. Do you mind telling me how you came here? Somebody recommended you to my boss. Who was it? A friend of yours. Good morning, Joey boy. I see business is picking up. That's for being a good boy. Clover Club is one of the best restaurants in town. The finest people go there. Oh, it caters to a very select clientele. From now on, you supply all the five-dollar steaks. If Monday owns the place, I want no part of it. Joe, what am I going to do with you? We're making a rich man out of you, and you resist. You'll sell the Clover Club, the Angel, and a half a dozen other very fine places. And you'll get checks and sign receipts. No. You're not buying me. <laughs> You're already bought, Joe. That's what you think. A 
that's what I know. getting ready to eat at Doc's if you hadn't come. Did you notice that man standing across the street? Yeah. What about him? Doc Stable says that he's from Interstate Oil. They're going to put a gas station on the north corner. Joe, that'll bring customers to the whole block. I hope so. I brought a couple of sandwiches and some fruit, all right? Oh, that's fine. Well, I'm going to go shopping. They got a sale on at Marshall's. Can I have some money? Yeah, take what you need. If I take what I need, you wouldn't have... Joe, Joe, this check, is it real? Yeah, some guy came in and cleaned me out of my best cuts. Well, for heaven's sakes, why didn't you say something? Why'd he come to you? This is a wholesale lot. <laughs> Wait till I tell Mrs. Staples. No, don't tell anyone, understand? But Joe, it's no crime to sell meat to the Clover Club. People don't have to know our business, Harriet. Well, all right, if that's the way you feel about it. Joe, is anything wrong? Oh, I got a little headache. Otherwise, everything's fine. Yeah. No. Honey, you go home and have a nap. Come on, I'll take care of the store. No, I'll be okay. I'm all right, honey. Now you go ahead. Well, all right. See the usual time, huh? Mm-hmm. Try not to be late. Okay. Bye. Bye. Collins is first. Okay. It's a pot roast. Now go straight home when you're finished, huh? What do you want? Why are you hounding me? Who's hounding? I'm a fresh air fit. Any objections? You got no right... No, wait, 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 wait. Don't forget, this is a free country. I told your boss, he knows I won't say anything. As soon as the boss knows you're okay, he'll pull us off. How long is that supposed to take? If I knew, I'd tell you. Why don't you ask him yourself? I don't have to ask him anything. Just tell him I don't like to be shoved around, you hear? Good. We're invited over to the Staples tonight after dinner. We can't leave the kids alone. Why not? They're practically next door. No, uh, I've got to stay. I mean, I don't feel like it. Yeah, yeah, I, un I understand. Yeah, but listen, Mr. Craig. I think you better have a talk. Use a little muscle on the chunk. Yeah, I'm going right back. Okay, I'll see you. Right. The 
And now the local news. The big story here is still the hit and run death of Martin Littlefield, called a gangland murder by the district attorney today. This afternoon, we filmed an interview with Mrs. Littlefield. I intend to take over the chairmanship of the Citizens Committee at the next meeting. My husband was killed because he refused to allow the criminal element of this county to run our daily lives. Well, do you think he was killed because of any specific information he had? No. No, but he was a symbol of resistance. They're, they're trying to scare us into an underworld form of slavery. I don't know how long it will take, and I don't know how many people may be threatened. But I do know that with the help of the police and all freedom-loving citizens, we can get rid of them. All right, kids, let's go to bed. Watch it. Not tonight. Now, do as I say and get to bed. Good night, Mom. Good night, honey. Mom, can I go over to Sally's house for a little while? I said get to bed, Betty. Now, move. If I can't watch it, I'm going over to Sally's. Dad, what's the matter with you? You know she always looks at the Western. I didn't mean to hit her. What's making you act like this? You're like a trapped animal. Honey, are you in some kind of trouble? If you are, and if you just tell me, well, maybe I could... Joe, last night that man was here, and the accident. Get the kids. What? Get them in here. Betty! Jimmy! Come here now and hurry! Lieutenant Folsom, please. Get over to Doc Staples right away, Harriet, all of you. And stay there till I come back. Now go out the back way. Go, Harriet, please. Come on, kid, now come out and get your coat. Lieutenant Folsom, Joe Kohler, the witness in the Littlefield case. Please, get over to my house right away. But first, I want to tell you a couple of things that I was afraid to tell you last night. Afraid for my wife and kids. Bill Craig, Boss Monday's right-hand man. What is this? I never saw this guy in my life. At least four people saw you with him. His wife, his two kids, and the druggist. You're dead, Craig. Obstructing justice, threat to do bodily harm, accessory after the fact. I don't think we'll have any trouble with frightened witnesses after this. Thanks to you, Mr. Kohler. Seems to me you made a mistake, Joe. Mistake, mister? Let me tell you, mister. If anything happens to my wife or kids, or I'll kill you. No matter where you are, I'll find you and kill you. And make no mistake about that. You're gonna let this guy... I'm gonna help him. Let's go. Move. Police say the case against Boss Monday broke when a citizen came forward as an eyewitness to the hit-and-run death of Martin Littlefield last night. Want some more coffee, Daddy? Bars. Yeah, the thanks, sweetheart. Citizens now unafraid to add their voice to the mounting evidence against Monday in detention. Now turning to us.